Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be building an air compressor with this with this empty propane bottle, which I've already removed all the propane and the the valve. I already have here all the fittings I'll need, as well as the pressure gauges hoses and all that and the first thing I'm gonna have to do is to I have to put a a purge valve on the bottom I'm not sure if I can weld this if I could it would be nice but I'll have to weld whether whether this on the bottom of the bottle or a piece of threaded tube which I have here so that later I can purge uh, purge the bottle so let's turn the bottle the other way around so right about here is where I'm gonna try and weld the that piece to put the purge valve. So right here in the middle, let me just remove the paint so that then I can weld the So that then I can weld the... So, this, this bottle has been this bottle has been empty for months, so I think that now it should be pretty much safe to weld on it or to or to drill because this is not the kind of thing that you just get empty today and then you start welding right away. I've had this bottle here with no valve open for like six months or more. So I think all the propane is gone now. It's, I think it's pretty much all gone. And then uh, I'll try and weld that piece and see how it goes. some more heat removed for this part to go there. 
and uh, now I'll try and weld it. So this is more or less how the purge valve is going to be on the bottom of the compressor and as you see it is badly welded but it will work because 
I only have uh, this very old stick welding machine and uh, it's not the best for this kind of job this would be easily done and would have a better finish if I had that TIG welder but let's leave it like this so this is what's going on starting to do the connections and uh, let's see how it goes so this is how the air compressor is becoming some wheels on and uh, the valve to drain it and we'll see how it ends up. So here we have it, the homemade compressor. And that's pretty much how it's gonna be. And uh, some wheels there on the back. Just like foot on the front. And uh, Let's turn it on and see if it works. Okay. It's working. And uh, let's see if it charges. It's charging. We're about to reach 60 psi. And it's supposed to stop at 90. This one is for the pressure coming out and this one is the pressure inside the tank. This is the security valve. Push it. It's charging pretty good. Let's just see if it stops when it reaches 90. Charging. Charge is a bit slow, but the thing is that it charges. Okay, this kind of a handle, two little wheels, and uh, hoses. Actually, this one go a bit. It's a It will take a little bit to go to 90, but it will reach it. And as you can see, it is a very silent compressor. It doesn't make that hell of a noise like the other ones do. And we're almost reaching 90. It should stop any moment now. Let's keep it on camera.
And there we go. It stopped. 90 plus 1. The fold did its job. And uh, it stopped. As you see here. So now, now let's check for the pressure coming out of the compressor which is this one here light is ruining the video but okay we simply open this one and if we open it it should start leaking air yeah and once I have something attached there, it will measure the pressure of the air coming out. Can you see it moving? This one will be for the pressure of the air coming out. Close it. And then on the bottom, I have a purge valve. And as you see, I've opened the valve. And it pressure went down. It started charging again. See? 